What's up everybody, Way the Bay here, and today I'm going to be going over the B156 Random Booster Volume 18. So this whole set I'm going to be going over, each Beyblade in a separate video. So today, this video is going to be based on Naked Spriggan. So today's unboxing is Naked Spriggan. In this set, it has 8 Beyblades, 2 prize bays, which is Dragoon Victory and Naked Spriggan. Naked Spriggan is the first prize bay, Dragoon Victory is the second. So today's video is Naked Spriggan. Now, if you're wondering how you can get the whole set like we did, so there are people who are online, they have, they order a whole bunch of random boosters, they go through them all, they open it all up, but only check the stickers. If you check the stickers, you can figure out which Beyblade is which, and they get all eight of the Beyblades, depending on which stickers they checked, put it all together, and then send it to you. And that's how we got this, the whole set, so that's how I know it's Naked Spriggan, because I checked the stickers like they did. And it is already open, so that is one thing. If you don't feel comfortable comfortable about someone going through your packages, then it's probably best to just take your chance and get random Beyblades. But how we did it is we ordered the whole set. So that's how you're able to get the whole set without going through the hassle of opening a bunch of random Beyblades and getting duplicates. So today's video is Naked Spriggan. On this side, we see Naked Spriggan's gimmick because that is the prize bait. It's a defense type and has sort of a wall gimmick. Over here, we have the defense and stamina logo because Naked Spriggan is a defense type and Dragoon Victory is a stamina type. So this is part of the Burst series and it's GT. So that's what these logos mean. On the back, we see stats for all the Beyblades. It's all in Japanese. Can't really read it except what is in English. So what's new in this set is the Naked Base and Paradox Disc. I'll go over all of these Beyblades while I'm reviewing them. So these Beyblades down here will come in separate videos, so will Dragoon Victory, but today it is Naked Spriggan. So now I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to show you what is inside. Alright, so opening up the package, so we have the box, and like I said, it was already open, so, so they can see what the sticker is. As you can see, looking at that, that is Naked Spriggan, because of the Orbit Metal sticker, and all the sticker colors, you can compare it with the box. So let's move the box out of the way. So when you open this up, you do get them all in black bags, so you cannot see what it is as, until you actually open it. So first, we're going to go to the driver. The smallest package here must be the driver. So opening this up. Yes, so this is Orbit Metal. Looks really nice. So the only Orbit Metal we've had in the past was the one that came with Dread Bahamut. So this one came with Dread Bahamut. It was a gray orbit metal. Looked really nice. Now we get a transparent blue one. So in most random boosters, transparent drivers do come sparkly. They have little sparkles in it. So that's one thing to look forward to. So now let's go through this smaller package. I'm guessing this is the disc. All right, so opening this up. And I am correct. So the Paradox disc does come in two parts. So that's why we only see this. This is not the whole disc. It's not just a plastic piece. There is more to it. So this is just one part of it. I'm guessing this is the second. All right. So this disc has a gimmick where it's flippable. Sort of like the new Master Diabolos and the turn frame. If I can open this up. It needs more scissors. Here we go. So yep, here we go. So this is the actual thing that comes with it. So this is just the pretty much thing that connects to the Beyblade. This is where all the stuff is at. So putting it on, you can have it to where, if I can pop it in right. Here we go. And it just slips in pretty tight. So you can have it where the wall is facing upward or you can pop it out. And while the wall is facing upward, you can make it go downward for sort of life after death attack so pretty cool this disc will be very handy in battles so i'm not sure if this is compatible with only naked spriggan or if it's compatible with other beyblades i will have to check that out so looking at the whole thing this is just all plastic and this is metal so really cool looking i like the color of it, it looks like the turn that came with judgment joker so let me just put this back together 
if I can. I'm just going to put it over here. And then we're going to take a look at the layer. So I'm not sure if this is the golden layer or not. So it can be anything. Most likely just blue. But there is a chance. So let's open it up. And it is the blue one. All right. Cool. Oh, and it went out the camera. All right. Have it here. And it does come all sealed up in blue. So not much damage can happen to it. All right, so opening it up here, Let's take that out. So then we have the Naked Spriggan base. Looks really nice, nice blue color. So let's take it apart. So it comes with Spriggan, which here are its teeth. Nice blue color, definitely like that. Then we have a very new and shiny tin. Then over here we have the base. This base has no metal on it, but it is pretty thick with plastic. It is a very high wall, should be really good in defense. So putting it together, now let's put the whole Beyblade together. Alright, so let's put this together. So it does fit around the base, so I'm not sure if it's only compatible with this. Clicking it, it is a left spinning Beyblade. So all together looks really nice. So I'm gonna put the stickers on and then we'll do some test launches. All right, so we have the stickers on finally after a lot of trial and error, we have them all on. So this is Naked Spriggan with its stickers on. So there are lots of stickers around the base. The Spriggan chip does have a lot of stickers. So not too much. If you need help, just check the instructions or the front of the box. So these are where all the stickers are. The base looks really nice. So I did test the Paradox disc with other layers. And so far I have not found any Beyblades that can go on it with the waves going upward. The wall going upward. Only the Naked base has worked with this. So that's probably why they gave you the other way where you can have it downward. So, so far no Beyblades can go with the Paradox disc with the Naked base from all the Beyblades I've tried. And then of course we have the Orbit Metal sticker so with all the stickers on and everything now it's time for the test battles all right so we are at the basics to cartoon stadium and first a test launch so like i said it's a left spinning beyblade ready three two one rip. so it does move pretty well metal orbits pretty good driver for defense so that's how it spins so now for some test battles and that's what paradox up so first up, Dread Bahamut versus Naked Spriggan, and Ryan is going to be helping me in these battles. Ready? Three, two, one, rip. So moving around, both are defense types, so who is superior? Ooh, pretty good hits, actually. All right, how's it moving? Now it's down to Stamina. And Naked Spriggan wins that. So, so far, it's pretty good in defense. Alright, so next battle. This time, Paradox is down. Alright, oh, ready. Three, two, one. Right. So, Paradox down. High scrapability. So, let's try that one more time. That was most likely just a careless launch. All right, ready. Three, two, one. Right. Much better. And, oh, life after death was about to get knocked out, but came back because of that disc. So from what I'm seeing so far, Paradox is probably the best with the naked base going upward. Down, there's going to be a lot of scraping, but looking at that right now, there is life after death. So it did have a high chance. Dread Bahamut did win that just by a little, just by a little bit. But that is how Naked Spriggan works. Pretty good. Paradox going upward is really nice. But only with the Naked base. So that's going to be pretty hard to do some combos and all that. But overall, Naked Spriggan, a really good Beyblade. I love its color. I like how it does in the stadium. Its name, not so much. But the Beyblade itself is pretty cool. If you want to see Naked Spriggan go against any other Beyblades, let me know in the comments. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching Way of the Bay.